Hello, this is Jason with MathTutorDVD.com and today we're going to continue learning about the TI-89 calculator and we're going to start to talk about uh, angles and using angles, degrees, radians, and things like that in terms of using that in our calculations. So we'll talk a little bit about sine, cosine, and tangent, <clears throat> but more importantly we really want to talk about how this calculator handles radians and how should you input um, degrees and radians versus degrees and how do you convert between radians and degrees so uh, really important material you'll use this kind of stuff quite often now the first thing you need to know is that when you look at the screen when you turn your calculator on you're looking at the regular screen down here it says you're in radian mode so it's important for you to know that no matter what you're doing in your calculator you can always look down here to see what mode you're in what this means is that the calculator is currently in radian mode that means that any angles I put in here, any numbers that I put in here that are meant to be interpreted like an angle, for instance, if I stick an angle inside of a sine, it's going to assume that whatever number I type is a radian. So it's going to evaluate it that way. So to see that in action, if I put the sine on the stack here, and I want to take the sine of pi radians, pi is over here in blue, so put it like that and close it, what is the sine of pi? You should be able to figure that out in the unit circle and uh, the answer is zero. Uh, likewise I can go over here and put pi over two and so on the unit circle that should be an answer of one. Now it's evaluating it this way for me because it's assuming that the numbers that I put in here that are meant to be angles are already in radians that whatever number I'm putting in there is a radian. Now if I go in here to the mode menu I can change it out of radian mode and go fly out here and I can stick it in degrees and when I do that and save all of this it turns the calculator in degree mode now if I calculate the sine of pi over 2 again I'm not gonna get the answer of 1 um, in fact it, it doesn't even really do that much it just gives me an exact answer here if I go and evaluate and make it turn this into a real decimal by doing the approximately equal down here it's going to tell me that sine of pi over 2 is 0 0.027412 um, the reason is because it's assuming this is pi over 2 degrees. So if I take the number 3.14 and uh, divide it by 2 here, which is pi over 2, uh, that's 1.57. So basically what it did was, was evaluate the sine of 1.57 degrees. Now you should be able to know from your trig that 1.57 is a really small number of degrees. Uh, so it's a totally different number than, than pi over 2 radians. It's a totally different place in the unit circle. So that's why it evaluates uh, things differently like that for us. Now another thing I'm going to tell you right here is that notice how it gave us, when we tried to do this guy, let me go back up on the stack and put this back on the stack. Uh, when we 